last three months, we've probably had half a dozen investors come to us who want to buy a farm. They don't know how to run it themselves. They just have this burning desire, which most people watching and part of our network have to own a farm and run a farm. And Hey everybody, Sam Marwood here from Cultivate Farms. Welcome to episode 79 of Cultivate Farms TV. What we'll cover today is that we have our 10 cultivators uh, for Cultivate uh, Farms Cultivator Program where we're backing farmers or a farmer with an investor. Um, we're uncovering farm investors, we'll unpack that, uh, how we are key to Agriculture's 2030 plan that National Farmers Federation put out. Cultivate Communities Update, we're working with three regional communities that, to be their own matchmakers. Aging on farm is a new concept with, uh, or a concept we're unpacking, and we'll uh, unpack that with you today. And 26 farms on our website ready to be matched. Well, let's get cracking. So we have over a thousand aspiring farmers on our database, which is amazing. So it is free, it is free. You can pay if you want to, but we don't care. We just want you on there, because the more farmers we have loaded as an aspiring farmer, the more momentum we will be build, the more farms that will come, the higher the chances are that we'll find a farm match for you. So please promote it. Like this video on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, we're putting it up everywhere. Listen to it on podcasts, tell your friends about it. We just need more momentum. We're building it. We know you're talking about us. Keep it going. Don't get bored of talking about owning your farm and, and what we're doing uh, because that is going to open more and more doors. So cultivated 10 farms. So hopefully by now you know that we are running what we think is a world first program where we've got an investor ready to back a farmer uh, to co-own a farm together. We did this back in 2017, six, late 16, um, with uh, Claire and Mark Coates. They were one of 13 who pitched and they got backed onto their farm. We're doing it again. And we have now 10 applicants from across Victoria, New South Wales who have signed up. I love them all. They are motivated, top, uh, quality farmers who just want to be matched with someone, a like-minded person to own a farm. We have a commitment to them is that we're going on this six month um, course to pull together a farm pitch and financial model and that we put in front of this investor and one will be matched. But there's other nine, we're going to keep supporting them and even that one who's matched ongoing to help them realize their farm ownership dreams. We will find them an investor, we'll find them a retiring farmer, we'll find a way for them to get on their farm because we are so excited that they are willing to put their own money on the line, their own time and energy to prove that they're good enough to own a farm. And that uh, speaks uh, volumes to their passion and a desire and people will want to back people like that. So if you're an aspiring farmer who isn't part of this program, please keep watching this journey. We want to roll out more of these every year, if not a couple uh, all over the country, so get motivated that uh, you can uh, follow in their footsteps. You can pull a pitch together now. There's a pitch online, pitch template online you can download and have a crack. The aim is to get a piece of paper to prove you're good enough. That is what you've got to do. And that's what these farmers are doing with us. And we'll work with mentors to, to pull that proposal together. If you're a retiring farmer, we'd love you to follow this journey of these 10 farmers, which we will be uh, giving updates regularly on, so that you may want to headhunt one of them yourself uh, for your own farm. Think about it <laughs> from that point of view. And investors, you may be a farm investor. You may be thought about owning a farm. You can't run on your own and you want to go back and, and co-own with a farmer. We want to hear from you. We want to back more than one of these farmers with an investor. At the end of this year, we would love to match all of them with an investor. And that's what we're pumped for this year. It feels like the year of the investor for us that we are going to find more investors. And how do we do that? It's because we've got 10 farmers who've got pitches who are high quality and we can start taking that out and having conversations with people who might want to be matched with them and build a relationship and co-own a farm. If you're a lover of regional Australia and your regional community, we want you to follow this journey so that you can get inspired to find investors locally uh, and even run your own cultivator program and be your own matchmaker. It's absolutely possible. We just want everyone to be inspired. We want the ag industry to be inspired, proud of what is happening, that we're doing some cool things to back the next generation of Australia's farmers. That's what we're about. Uh, we know everyone else wants it. Uh, there's nothing bad here at all. Every, how can you hate this? This is awesome. So we'll keep updating on these cultivators. We're doing little interviews with all of our farmers and uh, want to be able to help them show their journey of you know, starting out not knowing what this is going to mean and by the end of the program, hopefully being full of confidence that they're going to realise their farm ownership dreams. 
Uncovering farm investors, we do think 2020 is the year of investors for us. Uh, there's a lot of momentum building and over the last three months, we've probably had half a dozen investors come to us who want to buy a farm. They don't know how to run it themselves. They just have this burning desire, which most people watching and part of our network have to own a farm and run a farm and you know be, be in control of, of, the, of that land and, and grow good, good produce, good food. Uh, and those people are out there and they're coming to us, which is really great. So every farm investor is different. They have different preferences and, and different amounts of funds. So we spend a lot of time just understanding what it is they want. But our aim is to match them with an aspiring farmer, to build a relationship and hopefully if maybe a few and then figure out the farm they want to be matched with, build a relationship and then uh, they can go off and find a farm together. And we're happy to be part of that journey as well. But we're still focusing on this concept of matching people. It doesn't matter if you're a farmer, you know, retiring farmer, or aspiring farmer. It's the same thing you would hear with us, uh, aspiring farmers and investors. It's about relationships. So we're wanting to understand what these farm investors want. Uh, what do they, how they want to use the farm? How long they, do they want to live on the farm or just part time? What we don't care again. It's just a matter of understanding what they want. And we're working through those investors. So another message to anyone out there who follows what we're doing and you have some investment to make and you want to buy a farm, we really encourage you do it in a way where you can back the next generation of Australia's farmers and co-own with a motivated, energetic farmer uh, in Australia and, um, and, and share the wealth uh, and know that your, farming, um, your farmers are high likelihood of success because you're working with a great farmer and you don't have to do it all yourself. How we are key to agriculture in Australia's 2030 plan. You may have realised the National Farmers Federation last year released the 2030 plan, and this is, and it says, the Australian agriculture's plan for a $100 billion industry. And uh, we've been through this, and we fully support it. I think it's great. And what we've done is try to understand how we can fit into that plan. And we think we're pretty integral to it um, because we're helping you as, as farmers do what you need to do, farm. And and key to that is, is ownership. And uh, if you don't have that, and we feel, and this is just our thesis and working hypothesis that if the next generation know they can own a farm, they're going to work hard when they don't own it because they're going to that pathway and they've got that um, drive to own it. So they're going to work hard in the meantime uh, and then they're going to be great when they do own their farm. And then there's retiring farmers out there who want to stay on uh, and see their farm be highly productive. And all these things are wrapped up around this productivity increase aim that the that uh, we have across Australia, that you need the farmer. You need motivated entrepreneurs willing to get up at 3 a.m. and solve problems when, when things go wrong. We need those people and ownership is core to that. And that's why we're pumped with what we're doing with Cultivate Farm. So I wanted just to outline uh, how we think we're relevant to the plan. There's two sections, sections four and five. Four is around people and communities and five is around capital and risk management. And we think we've got a heap of things we're doing already and hopefully plans for the future that we can um, uh, do with National Farmers Federation or other organisations across the country. Just wanted to outline what we're thinking. And if there's any hooks here, we'd love to hear from anybody uh, who would like to work alongside us and, or we work with them to boost what they're doing. Um, but we just want to show where we think we're so relevant to what uh, Australian agriculture is aiming for. Uh, and we want to stay relevant and we want to prove uh, that there are amazing farmers out there who <laughs> just want to get on a farm and own a farm. And if we can do that, there's so many benefits. So we're uh, exploring how to write a book, how to write the Farm Pathway Ownership Plan um, book for aspiring farmers, even one for retiring farmers. But we have so much content out there that we just need to structure and put into you know, the, the 50, 100 page plan on how you can go about owning a farm. We think that'd be really valuable. We don't have that at the moment. At the moment you have to Google around and go to our blogs to pull it all together or, or chat to us. So we want to give that away for free. So we'd love to get that book uh, uh, up and running and out there. We need to multiply farm ownership case studies. We need, we know there's retiring farmers watching us who aren't sure that they should work with us or, or share ownership because they haven't seen a case study similar to them. So we've got to build more case studies. We've got to share stories around farmers who have shared ownership uh, and shown that it's a win-win. We need those case studies. We want to do this thing called education side hustle where we work alongside universities. So people going to university or TAFE courses, anything to do with agriculture, 
uh, who want to be farmers <clears throat> and they learn about the theory, but they get out and they don't, they don't know how to get onto their own farm. We want to do a side hustle program where we'll teach you and encourage you to be an entrepreneur and hustle to find pathways to get onto your farm. So you'll have the knowledge, you'll have the book knowledge, but also you'll have that, that hustle uh, knowledge and, and confidence to go out and talk to people and find your farm ownership pathway. Cultivator, we want to run more farmer investment uh, incubators across the country and many over every year. We want to get more investors hooked into the cultivator and we want to inspire farmers. If you think you're good enough and you are good enough, you can be backed by an investor to co-own a farm. So we want to run more cultivator programs. We want to um, outline this pathway to sharing ownership for retiring farmers and show it's possible and what the benefits are. Um, we want to run farmer incubators. We're, We'd love to have a few properties across Australia which are dedicated to training up farmers uh, and you know, getting there for two or three years, learning how to run a farm well, and then you know, if they're good enough, they'll go off and lease or, or go off and, and have hustled to, to have a pathway to ownership. Love the idea of a reality TV show. We've got a couple of hooks and ideas around that, but we still really think that getting in there, proving and showing how fun it is and you know, the struggles and the trials of farming is really attractive and it hasn't really been something like that. How do you go through showing the journey of someone starting a farm or, or running a farm, owning a farm or that hustle of how they can get on and own their farm. But a reality TV show, fantastic idea, let's do that. Cultivate communities, we wanna share how communities can be their own farm matchmakers. They know the landscape and people better than anyone else. How do we give them the tools and confidence to go and make matches every single day so they don't have that issue of young people leaving and, and, retire, and retired farmers coming into town. Everyone can stay on the land and, and have a really productive uh, landscape. Um, unlocking retail investors into farms. We want mums and dads investing. There's vehicles, there's legal arrangements all everywhere for people to occur and invest into a farm. We need to build a big database of these investors so that you as a farmer can pull the pitch up and have, be confident that there's an investor you can be matched with. We want to build out that list uh, and to, to, to uncover the desire from people across Australia to invest into farms. We want to do a farmland trust. We have one farmer who wants to donate their farm, so they're always farmed and, and, and work with us to back young farmers. So we're going to try and uncover that and then understand what's required there, but then replicate that across Australia. I love the idea of having you know, a dozen farms across the country, uh, which we're in control of, all about incubating the next generation of farmers, holding conferences there, having a farmer on for two or three years, rotating them through, uh, and knowing this land's going to be farmed well forever, uh, focused on supporting the next generation of Australia's farmers. Farm advisor education. We need to educate uh, uh, advisors out there that they should be encouraging farmers to share ownership. If they are these advisors who farmers take uh, trust so much, if they're saying that sharing ownership is a good thing, that's gonna to lead to more retiring farmers thinking about sharing, which leads more young farmers getting in the land. And this is uncovered in this concept also around aging on farm, which we're trying to get off the ground this year, where we can come up with the list of things a farmer needs to think through to in enable them to age on farm. So they don't have to leave if they don't want to, or if they don't have to. Um, what are all those steps so that they, we can keep them on the land and at the same time attract a, a young couple or a young farmer or aspiring farmer onto that land to share ownership with them. I think that's really powerful. And National Farm Succession Planning Day, another action we think could open the doors dramatically to the number of young people who own a farm. If retiring farmers even consider the idea of ownership, sharing ownership, we think there'd be no issue with young farmer um, decline and, and aging population of farmers across Australia because there'll be deals happening all the time because there's retiring farmers already open to the idea of sharing ownership. So we had a, if we had a national day around farm succession, that'd get the conversation going. All these deals could be happening without anyone else knowing and just are, are happening everywhere and getting more young people on the land. So that's how, you know, some actions we think that can be key to realising this $100 billion industry plan that the National Farmers Federation have. We think it's fantastic. We want to be part of it. Uh, reach out anybody who else uh, wants to support us in delivering some of those projects and anything else, anything else around retiring, aspiring investors and farm ownership, we're up for it. Uh, let's get cracking. Cultivate communities. So we are working with three regional communities in Northern Victoria, Tawong, uh, Campaspe and Mildura. And it is all about helping them uh, as, you know, as community champions, as individuals, as groups, as farmers, to be matchmakers. You know, everyone loves being a matchmaker in their own personal life and matching friends up. 
we want communities to be farm matchmakers. They know the community better than anyone else. And so that's why we're focusing on three communities. We've got our foot in the door with the councils and some champions at the moment. And we're slowly figuring out how can we be most supportive to those communities to get young people onto the land and help retiring farmers step back with dignity. And each community is different. And this is part of the journey. We're trying to understand how we can provide practical advice to any community across Australia. Uh, again, maybe some sort of a guide or, or support that we can offer. Uh, where anyone in the community who wants to bring young people back and keep retiring farmers on the land, even uncovering local investors, and here's some um, tactics and uh, methods for you to follow so you can be a matchmaker. Uh, and we think it's so powerful uh, because it's, it's sort of a natural thing that um, you know, you know, you know, there might be a farmer who's struggling to keep up with their farm and you know them well and maybe a little quiet message and a story to them or an idea to them about sharing ownership could just be the spark they need to think, well, maybe, uh, maybe having a, a young couple here could be a really great thing. Uh, and the, and the, you know, the, the wheels, the wheels move. So just an update on these communities. Taowong is in the northeast of Victoria and it's been devastated by the bushfires and our heart goes out to all the farmers across the country who have been impacted by bushfires this season is just uh, absolutely full on and uh, we're trying to figure out how we can support and also how we can activate our aspiring farmer database um, to support. So we're just figuring out the best way to, to get involved. So if you if you do know how we could be involved, let, let us know. But Taowong, we're just pausing to make sure uh, we're respectful of just the, just the, uh, the damage that's just gone through those communities. Um, Mildura, we uh, were part of a road trip around regenerative communities uh, late last year, which is amazing. And it's all about how do you get more people into communities and support farmers to be profitable. And now we're chasing up with a few local champions on, on this very thing around how what they can help us find people to be matched onto farms and how we promote some young farmers in that area. And that's the focus in Campaspe. We've got a handful of aspiring farmers that we want to start doing media around and use that in local uh, newspapers and Facebook ads and promote to retiring farmers that there are amazing farmers out there who really would want to farm in this area and would love your farm and to farm with them uh, so we can try and uncover more retiring farmers. So that's our focus is trying just to work in a community, understand what their needs are, um, find those uh, community champions. That's probably the core thing that we can work with and use their relationships and their trust to get those conversations going because it's full on sometimes thinking about how you ask someone if they want to share ownership. Um, so we're trying to do it in a respectful way and, and work with the community so that they can be matchmakers ongoing and we have these case studies so that they can keep using. Aging on farm. So this is a concept that has come about from our work working with three, the three regional communities in, in Northern Victoria. Um, and we think, and we love probably all the projects we work on, obviously we do, but we, know that we think this is a brilliant one as well. So we've come up with it with an elder advocate in the northeast of Victoria in Taowong, uh, Maria Berry, and she has just opened our eyes to the need to support our retiring farmers more. Uh, and we're going to be working with Maria on this ongoing, and this is where this ageing on farm concept has come, come from. So we're talking to retiring farmers all the time. Um, and they've come to us because they don't really want to leave the farm or they don't want to see the farm uh, go into disrepair or, or they want to make sure the next farmer is going to be values aligned with them. So they come to us wanting to share ownership and, and, and to see that the farm uh, goes and, and the legacy is held. But we've realised that those farmers are at that mental state where they're like, yep, I'm okay with sharing, but they're, and I love the idea of ageing on farm potentially. But there's so many, how do you support all those farmers to go through that journey to even get to that point where they're like, yeah, sharing ownership and aging on farm is a good thing. So we thought we need to unpack what are all the things you need to think about um, to stay on your farm for as long as you want. And we realized there's, we haven't seen anything out there about you know, a practical guide and again, case studies on how they go about doing that. So that's what we're gonna do. We've coined the phrase aging on farm. We developed a project plan, happy to share that with anyone. And now we're trying to figure out how do we get the experts around us? How do we do some case studies? And how do we come up with the, the manual, the guidance on how farmers can think about aging on their farm? Um, so it's a pathway site program. We want to identify pathways or help farmers figure out their own pathway to, to stay on the, on the land. Um, and we think it's unique in the world. Um, I'm just reading some blurbs that we've got here from, from our documents. So it's probably not going to be as uh, off the cuff as, as normal. Um, and so what do we think Aging on Farm is? It's, so we say Aging on Farm is the process of farmers realising their potential for physical, social and mental well-being on their farm. And a cornerstone concept of this is that aging farmers heading towards retirement are best able to achieve those goals with partnering with aspiring farmers, with younger farmers who 
uh, can share the load with them and, and help them in that, that aging process. Um, so our message is to retiring farmers that you don't have to sell and walk away from your farm. You can stay on the farm, keep involved in the farm and keep um, yeah, be a really big player in your, in your community ongoing. So things we think of the components of this as are in your farm business, farm match and succession, farmer health, family, community, hope, and uh, a home and farm layout, sorry, communication, logistics, and options analysis. So they're, they're sort of the concepts we're thinking about that a retiring farmer needs to work through and all the various machinations for them to eventually say, yeah, look, aging on farm is an option for me. And you know, out of that, sharing ownership could be an option for me as well. So please get in touch if this is something of interest to you or you love your ideas and how we can make that uh, unfold. Uh, we'll spend the next 12 months trying to figure out what that means and how to, how to write something up and also how to have that credibility associated with it. So it is really useful, valuable information and make some great outcomes for families. I'll, just the idea that we can help uh, one you know, retiring farmer stay on their farm, which is all they love and all they want. It just sounds beautiful to us. Um, so yeah, get in touch if of interest. And lastly, farms available, 26 farms on the database, cultivatefarms.com forward slash farms. There you will find farms for you to be matched onto. Some people are saying the farms aren't big enough, I can't make an income off it. Uh, we want you to think a little bit differently. How can you work with these farmers who are willing to share ownership? Maybe you need an off-farm income for a while, or maybe you've got a job elsewhere working on the farm, but get a foot in the door. That's how we want you to think about some of these farms. I can't magically make ideal farms come to you that are perfect for you. We need to build momentum, but these are the farms we've got. We need you to think about them. We want you to be matched onto them. So again, we've got matches and build them, but don't necessarily expect these farms match your exact dreams. That's never going to happen. Think about, hey, I'm willing to live in that area. This farm sounds okay. I can find a way to make it work. I love the idea that I can buy in, I can earn in, uh, I can build my wealth at the same time, get to know a community, get to know a farmer, and you never know where things can happen, where things can go. So please do think about these farms, share it with your friends that these farms are available. We need to build momentum. We need to get more of these matches happening. And that starts with you seriously sitting down over a glass of red or a beer, scrolling through and thinking farm by farm, how could I get involved? Or how did I do I know someone else who might want to be matched into this farm? That's it from me, everyone. Please get in touch uh, if you want to talk about your farm ownership plans. Uh, but let's get you farming. Cheers. Thank you for your attention and for watching this video. Click here or here or somewhere uh, to watch more of our videos. Uh, if you're new here, please do subscribe. We want more of your attention. We want to get you inspired uh, to get onto your farm. Let's get you farming.